and welcome to Life on the 49th. Well, maybe you're doing a new installation of a wood stove or just changing out an old one, but you need to know how big to make your floor pad. So the quick, simple answer to that is eight inches on the sides and rear of the stove and 18 measured from the door in Canada, 16 in America. Most manuals will tell you what your minimum floor pad requirements are, so that's a good place to start looking. But we always recommend that you make your pad a little bit bigger uh, for a few different reasons. It's nice to have the space around the stove, but if you ever decide to get a different stove down the road, the pad will likely still work with enough, a different model. There are a few factors that might affect your floor pad size, and I'll cover them now. Something that might affect the size of your floor pad is your stove clearances. A, an easy example is the rear clearance of a wood stove. Let's say you need 12 inches or in this fact one, yeah, it's 12 inches to the stove. So if I cut my pad to eight inches and then my stove still needs to sit 12 inches from the wall, I'm gonna be left with a pretty big gap along the wall here. So you'll wanna take that into consideration. Another common installation is on an angle or kitty corner in, the, in a room. And it can actually be quite tricky to get the exact measurements for your floor pad when trying to figure this out. So we've actually gone as far as just cutting a piece of cardboard the same size as the footprint of your stove. And that way you can place it in the corner and slide it around and measure off the corners of it to make sure you, you have your required stove clearances and then from there, you can measure out the size of your floor pad. So it's one thing to know how big you need to make your pad, but the other thing is you'll want to consider is what are you going to make it out of? When you're in your manual reading about your floor pad size, take a look to see if it needs an R value or if it's just need, requires an ember protection. Most stoves are going to just need an ember protection, which basically means a non-combustible surface, the, which would typically be made out of metal, tile, or concrete. If you are doing a tile floor pad, it's recommended to put something non-combustible underneath it, like a thin piece of galvanized metal or concrete board. That way, if the tile ever breaks, you still have a non-combustible surface that an ember wouldn't be able to find its way through to a combustible floor below. If your stove does require an R value, that means you will need to have a thicker floor pad. And some stoves with shorter legs or a soapstone stove like a hearthstone or an older stove will typically have an R value requirement for a floor pad. It means that there's going to be a lot of heat radiating out of the bottom of that wood stove and you're going to want to add a thickness to it. Something like concrete board underneath your steel pad would give you an, a greater R value requirement. Okay, well thanks for watching. I hope you found this video very helpful. If you are beginning an installation, you might wanna check out my best location for a wood stove video. Please consider subscribing and have a wonderful day.